My name is Walter Unglob, and this is 10 Examples of Endothermic Reactions in Everyday Life. So, an endothermic reaction is any reaction in which a physical system absorbs energy from its environment, usually in the form of heat energy. There are plenty of examples in everyday, everyday life where this happens, and one common example is the melting of ice in which water in solid form absorbs heat energy from its surrounding environment such as the air or a hot beverage and melts it induces a phase transition from ice into liquid form a second everyday example would be f upon further absorption of heat the evaporation of the water from liquid phase into a gas phase. So this is what happens when you boil water. A third example in everyday life would be cooking an egg, for example. The texture and composition inside the egg, well, primarily the texture will change as it heats up due to the heat in the water surrounding the cooking egg. A fourth example would be baking a pizza. So in an oven, the temperature of the air rises to several hundred degrees and this will cause the frozen pizza to bake. A fifth example would be photosynthesis. And photosynthesis occurs in plants in which radiation from the sun combined with sugar will induce reactions inside the plant and allow it to produce CO2, uh, sorry, produce oxygen while it uses CO2. And this is known as an endothermic reaction. A sixth example would be if you're cold and you're warming up your hands, you cause the skin to heat up. And if you rub your chest or your hands, then you can view this as an endothermic reaction where the heat is coming from another part of your body. So seventh example would be microwaving a TV dinner, for example. And here the heat comes from uh, the electromagnetic radiation inside of the microwave. There's so much energy there that that heat is transferred to the food and it'll cause it to heat up. It'll absorb that radiation energy. An eighth example would be if you have a birthday cake and you have a candle that's lit, the wax will absorb the energy of the heat from the fire, from the burning wick, and it will cause the wax to melt. So wax melting is another example. A ninth example would be cooking bacon on a frying pan. So cooking or frying bacon. And finally, a tenth example would be getting sunburned. So if you stand out in the sun too long, your skin will absorb all sorts of radiation from the sun, and some of this radiation, like UV rays, can be harmful and cause damage to the skin. So here, getting sunburned is another final example in everyday life of an ex endothermic reaction in which your body is absorbing radiation from the sun. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is 10 examples of endothermic reactions in everyday life. Mm -hmm.